Hey guys! Way back, about 10 months ago-ish, um, before the baby was born, I showed you a tour of the nursery and now she is almost 10 months old and we're going to show you sort of how things have evolved and how we're using it. We've changed it up just the tiniest little bits of things. Thought it would be interesting uh, for you to see basically what it looks like now that it's lived in instead of the aspirational, you know, pre-baby setup. Uh, things have... Uh, I've been working really well, so let's take a look. So first up, uh, we've got the crib. I need to change these sheets, but they're actually lasagna on here. There's um, a, what's it, protector and then a sheet and then a protector and then a sheet so that if she has like a mess in the middle of the night, we could just take one sheet off. We've never had to do that. Um, her diapers hold up pretty well. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, Violet lives in here with her um, and we use the <laughs> we use the uh, music, the bedtime music on her to uh, to put Agnes to sleep as part of her bedtime routine. She is getting to the point where she can like get up and crawl around a little bit, um, but she sleeps in here every night, usually pretty well until about 4 a.m., about 8 hours, and then uh, she comes into bed with us to nurse until the morning. We've got the changing table here. We still use it. I don't know, a lot of people say they don't like changing tables, but like I really like having everything in one place. I'd rather have everything in one place and like cross the house to change here. Like we have a one story house, it's not that big a deal. And yeah, I, I like the changing table personally. And she still uses it. So the top drawer here, um, normally my flannel liner, or my, what's it, fleece liners are in here, <clears throat> but we're out right now, we're doing laundry. Um, this is the water for the wet wipes, or for the, um, the cloth wipes, which we don't, I only really use the cloth wipes for pee. Um, for the poop diapers, I use the disposable wipes because I don't want to have to spray them off. These are her vitamin D drops. Um, this is the second bottle. We use the first bottle, and I want to use up the second bottle, and then just probably won't get more. Now that she's on solids, she doesn't really need this uh, as much but I still want to use them up and I keep forgetting. Um, and this little jar is some homemade diaper cream that our um, nanny made, our babysitter. It's like coconut oil and essential oils and it works really well for her. So uh, we've got that. We also have butt paste. The green bottle is cloth diaper safe. Drawer number two is almost empty because like I said, we're doing diaper laundry, but they all fit in here, two rows. Um, and that makes it really easy to just pull out and use. Then the bottom drawer is where we keep her overnight diapers. She has four. We use um, the yellow ones for overnight. So we have two different yellow colors, uh, two of this one and two like bright yellow. And that way we just know like we double stuff the yellow diapers and those are the overnight diapers and it makes it really easy. Then back here we have, I kept some of the uh, pre-folds. These are here sort of as boosters, I haven't been using them, but I feel like any day she's going to start peeing like more because I hear that that happens with age um, and I would want to have something to be able to augment our absorbency. These also should probably be put away. Um, I found these in the laundry room when I was decluttering in there. Uh, these should be with the, uh, the newborn diapers in a box in the garage, but they're not, so they're just in here for now. Um, and then these are a couple of flower sack towels. I keep them folded up and ready to use as inserts here. And then there's a couple extra microfiber inserts in here as well. Ah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, originally, I think we just had the diaper pail over here, but we've got a laundry basket now and also a trash can. Um, so this is for poop wipes and liners when she poops on them. Obviously this is for clothes and stuff. And I, um, originally was doing her clothes in with the diapers just all together um, but I realized that the hot water is really harsh on the clothes and so I, I generally do her clothes separately or with our clothes. Then over here these little shelves um, are kind of some storagey stuff. This is where I keep the wet bags. Um, these are some white bags that I don't really use. That's like some newborn info that I probably should get, you know, move somewhere better. But this is just kind of storage. Um, crib sheets, a bunch of cloth wipes that we had more than we needed. And I think these are the um, covers for the changing table. 
but we have not been using them. Uh, we've just been using the vinyl as is because it's just easier. You can wipe it down and she doesn't really mind, I don't think, or at least she's <laughs> she can't talk. So, And then I tucked this blanket up here so she wouldn't bonk her head as she's getting long enough to be able to push off the bottom and bonk her head. So I put the blanket there. And then this, I'm not going to show the whole thing because it's a... Um, link to an unlisted video that I made for my babysitters to use of me singing Agnes's bedtime song. But I used my HP sprocket to print out a QR code so that they can scan that. And it's got like a little owl on there. Like I said, I don't want you to see the whole thing. It's me singing. You get enough of that already. These vinyls are holding up fantastic and no peeling whatsoever and they look adorable and they really spruce up everything and make it easy. So. Same window trimming, whatever. Let's see, I added the um, pet net up here because we have a lot of stuffed animals. This art was a, um, a gift from her godmother for her baptism. I think things have moved around up on top of the dresser here. Um, let's see, this is like an heirloom baby Jesus from her grandfather. Um, just sort of a box of various things. Some. Um, Clorox wipes, hand sanitizer, Tylenol, Nose Frida, yeah. A few books that just, I don't know if they need to be up here, but there's a couple books here. This is some other just sort of storage stuff. I want to mount this camera. It was here for the longest time, just sitting here. But I want to mount it on the wall above her crib. Because um, this is like the Wi-Fi cam uh, that we use sort of as her video monitor. This little box is headbands, and this little box is like jewelry. <laughs> Mostly she doesn't wear it, but this one's safe. And then the sound machine, which plays lovely soothing sounds when she goes down for her naps. And then the baby box is now being used as her toy box, now that she's outgrown it as a sleeping thing. Um, and we just throw all of her toys in there, pull them out, stick them back at bedtime, and it works great. And then I think that little uh, mat came with the crib changing table. But I just keep it tucked back here. If she's being extra squirmy and I feel like I want to change her on the floor instead, I just pull that out and just change her over here. Can you tell them about the rocking chair? <laughs> we use it every single night as part of the bedtime routine. I nurse her there. We read a story and we uh, say our bedtime prayers there in the rocker. And then I threw an extra little crate over here because we've got books up on the shelf. Great. Oh, oh, I finished the cross stitch. Uh, the video for that also. And then I hung that up. So I got this frame like custom made. There's someone somewhere on Amazon that like will custom make a frame for you because um, that's not a standard size, obviously. And then this is a little... Um, this is also a baptism gift. So it's a little picture of her from her baptism day. Three weeks old, so tiny. Uh, and then I put a bin down here for some extra books. Um, mostly we just read board books because she likes to chew on them and is very mean to them. But that just makes it easier to be able to pull things in and out and not have to worry about them falling off the shelf because there's just, there's limited space up here. So I just struggle to keep this vacuumed. We try to keep the dog out of here as much as possible because he sheds a lot. And she, Agnes, will eat the, uh, or try to eat the fur off the floor if she catches it. But... I want to make this space just like easy for her to be able to free roam and now that she's starting to crawl a little bit and uh, just have fun in here. Let's see. Socks. Oh, this one's empty. <laughs> uh, drool bibs and mittens. Hats. Uh, shirts and onesies, <coughs> pants and burp cloths, <coughs> swaddle blankets, which we don't use anymore, but they're here, and jammies. <coughs> then all of her shoes are in a drawer. She does not wear shoes very often, but they fit in the drawer pretty well. <coughs> and then these last two are all blankets. And mostly we use the same few blankets over and over again, but these are all stuffed with blankets. And then recently I reorganized the closet too, so. Uh, all of her jackets and dresses are here hung. 
everything else is in the drawers, but this just makes it quick and easy to see what we have. And definitely for the jackets, it's good to just be able to grab and put back as we, as we go. These are the diapers that she's grown out of. Um, in an ideal world with multiple storage spaces, they would be somewhere else, but I don't want to put them in the garage because I feel like they're more likely to get wet or something out there. Also her tub, which we're not really using anymore, is in here. The boppy, which we're not using anymore, is in here. Um, I think this is a spare diaper bag that we've never used. And then we've got like boxes for things. We've got a lolly baby. Um, oh, these are some of my husband's transformers, but that's just storage. And then, let's see, this is a box. We keep one box of uh, storage of clothes that she's outgrowing. So every time she outgrows something, I throw it in here. And then these bags are the clothes that she's not grown into yet. So I think these are like 2 and 3T. And I think it's 12 months and 18 months. So as we, you know, move up in sizes, I pull those out and sort through them. These are the diapers that she has not... Or the, she's currently, I think, in these ones. Um, we just keep some on hand of the disposables. And then the wipes, obviously, we use as well. And this is also where we keep the bags <laughs> for the trash can. Here's a little baby. That's uh, a little backpack she got as a Christmas gift. And then these are some spare... Uh, baptismal gowns that she didn't use that I think some of them may belong to somebody else and need to go but uh, extra uh, gift set of Johnson Johnson products that we haven't used yet these are like the two of the pairs of shoes that she doesn't fit into yet this box has the actual heirloom gown that she did wear and then I think those boxes are all empty but they're like product boxes and then here are some toys. Uh, the idea is to sort of rotate in and out some of the big toys. And then these are all Kiwi Crates. She got a subscription to the Kiwi Crates uh, for Christmas from her godfather. And they're really cool. Um, not sponsored or anything, but she's obviously the tadpole crate. And we I just keep them in the boxes so that I can kind of pull them in and out as she gets developmentally there. Because um, some of them she's a little bit not ready for <laughs> in certain ways like this one is like a puzzle component that's a little tricky and she just wants to just grab it and anyway but they have like a uh, a label on them that tells you what everything is so it keeps it nice and organized and these things are just up here and I can pull things down and put them up I think it's about time to maybe put away the Noah's Ark and maybe pull down the ball maze again the bead maze or maybe maybe this one and then eventually she'll be in this booster seat, but for now she's in a high chair. So I think that's everything. Not a lot has changed on a macro level, but uh, we've sort of moved a few things around and organized them a little bit, and also just child-proofed slightly, um, just keeping cords out of the way and wanting to make sure that everything is safe for her. I know we definitely need to put locks on these drawers because she can pull these open really easily. These ones are not on casters or anything, and so I don't think she'd be able to. You're fine. She's not able to open these drawers, but she does love looking at the knobs. Do you like your room, Agnes? Do you have fun in here? Yes. She just learned how to crawl on Easter Sunday. And now here she goes. She's all mobile, and we're having a ton of fun. Okay, can you say goodbye to everybody? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, good job. Yay! Alright, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. We love you. Bye.